Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining in. In this particular video of WordPress series, we will understand how you can identify the exact page URL or you can say page name or page title or if there are UTM parameters inside the page URLs, then also how you can capture those UTM parameters whenever a user submits a particular form on any page on your WordPress website using contact form 7. Now, guys, why is it required to know from which page user has submitted the form? Because it is important from the tracking perspective so that you can get to know if the form is same across the website, then from which page users are filling the form so that you can optimize that page accordingly and you can modify the changes accordingly. Because if you know that from a particular page, you most of the leads are coming, then that page is particular important for you in your overall lead generation journey. So in order to identify the page title or the page URL exactly, all you need to do is come on to the contact form option. If you don't have contact form 7 already installed, please install by clicking on add new plugin and search for contact form 7. Now, once you click on contact form 7 and you have already a form, so if you don't know how to use contact form 7 and you are not aware how to create a form using this plugin then i have already created a video you can watch that video by clicking on i button and and the link given in the description so once the form is ready click on edit and please mind it this particular information will be received you know email notification then from which particular page or url the form is submitted now in order to do that all you need to do is just a simple setting in the mail settings we go to mail settings go to mail body and by default if you want to let's say track the exact url from which the form is submitted then all you need to do is write a short code i will also provide the short code inside the description that is url that is url this is a parameter which will enable you enable your form notification to track the exact url from which the form was submitted once you add this and then click on save changes once it is done and now if I go to my contact form that is on contact us page and if I submit it using some details. So along with these details, I will also get the URL of this page that is from which it is submitted. Now if I go to my Gmail account on which I receive the email notification for this form, you can see I have received the URL as well. Now let's suppose this particular form, the same form is also available on let's say about us page. So let me just quickly paste this same form short code on about us page as well so that I can show you that if I submit the same form on about us page, then about us page link will be captured in the mail notification. So edit with Elementor, let's paste the form anywhere on this page, uh, let's say on the top. So we can paste it here, not a problem as of now, uh, not, not here. Let's paste it somewhere in the hero section. Let's say after this or after before this section and now paste the short code and update. And once I updated it, now go to preview. And since now I am on about us page, so if I submit the same form from this about us page, so details, filling the details so the url should be about us page only right so if i submit it and i have submitted this time from about us page if i go back again refresh the my mail account now this time you will see that page url will be from about us page and not from contact page because i have submitted the same form from about us page so that's how you can get to know if the form is same across the website then from which particular url the user is filling up the form along with this url there are more parameters also so you can say uh, url capture in cf7 so there are multiple parameters as well in contact form 7 so you can see here uh, official website of cf7 cf7 contact form 7 and yes these are the mail tags and here are the options. So special mail tags category, remote IP, this tag is placed, replaced by the submitter IP address. If you want to I get the IP address of the submitter or from the network which the user is submitting the form, you will get it. User agent, it will be a browser information. URL, it will be replaced by your the page URL, date on which that user is user has submitted, time, invalid field, serial number, 
right there are multiple other options like post id if you want to fetch post id post name post title post url post author author email uh, page site related site title site description url user related if the user is login or not if login then what is the email id user url and everything so these are the options these are the special tags which are available inside contact form several email notification uh, option when the user submits it you can get the maximum amount of information from the user side so that you can track and you can make your lead generation process or overall journey easier and trackable so guys i will provide this link in the description as well so that you can explore more and more tags and use it according to your need so guys that's it for this video i will catch you in the next video and if you like this video don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update from our site whenever we upload a new video on our channel thank you so much i will see you in the next video